little shock top. As I was saying, Big Daddy Beardo here, little shock top. Obligatory swig. All right, anyway, that out of the way. Promised I would do a review on the uh, Roughneck Genesis. Um, start with a little bit of history background on me with the Roughneck. Honestly, was not a big fan. Um, Buddy Travis hooked me up with some beard butter. Um, I used it up. I won't. It, it worked. Um, it absolutely worked. Um, I just couldn't. The smell of it just was not what I was looking for. So I've I've always had a. Uh, I won't say a, an issue or a. Uh, uh, whoo. A. Uh, yeah, I'm a little little issues today. I gotta figure out my uh, camera setup here, but uh, uh, I've never been a big fan of Roughneck. I'll put it that way. I met uh, Brad in Philly with Travis. Um, back in for the uh, competition, awesome dude, stand-up guy. So it's it's been probably close to a year that I've stumbled on to um, Roughneck, and um, my first purchase again was the one that intrigued me the most, um, the Genesis. So I finally, you know, I did it. Went out and grabbed some. Um, we know the ingredients: the aloe, the or aloe vera juice, I should say. Um, vitamin B12, biotin, uh, vegetable glycerin, essential oil, oils, polysorbate 80, and yeah, some preservative. <laughs> Whatever. Um, everybody knows what the claims are. You know, it, it's supposed to guarantee growth. That's a tough guarantee to make. I'll, I'll say that flat out. That is a tough guarantee to make. It has all the ingredients to do that, uh, the biotin itself. Um, Add strength, stuff like that. Um, everybody gets thrown off when they see the polysorbate 80. They're like, wow, that's, you know, that sounds kind of chemical. Did a little bit of research on it myself because I thought the same thing. You know, if it's all natural, what 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 is that? Um, all that does is so it uh, it's an additive so that the oils and stuff can blend together. It's called an emulsifier. Um, also makes it spray nice. Um, it does. It absolutely does. I've used, I've had it since maybe the last Thursday, and I don't know if you can tell. I'm, I probably use more than I'm supposed to, but for this beard, I kind of, kind of looking a little rough tonight, but, uh, I use a little bit more. I use about 10, 10 squirts, 10 breezes. Um, I use, I put my oil on, my balm on, and then I'll spray it with the Genesis. Um, been using it about a week. I love the effect. Um, it does hold up, does keep the oils locked in there, keeps the, you know, all the essential oils that you want, that you're using with um, whatever oils or bombs you're using. The only issue that I'm having, not that I have an issue with it, um, is the, the again, the scent. The scent kind of overpowers the bombs or the oils that you are using. Um, so if you have an all-natural bomb or uh, a non-scented bomb or oil, this stuff would be ideal. If you're using a bomb or an oil for the scent, you may want to, you know, use this by itself or, you know, use it at a time that you don't need to. Um, I like it. Will it promote growth? It's a tough call, you know. I, I, I can't say within a week, obviously, that it, it's done anything for it. Um, man, it does look a little scraggly. But uh, I love it. The only issue, the other uh, thing you might want to notice is when you do use it... it it's a little sticky, like real tacky, I think. Um, like when you brush it in, it gets real, even on your fingers, it's real tick, real, uh, yeah, ticky, real tacky, but a uh, minor, minor thing. Definitely worth checking out. Um, I like using it at night a lot better than during the day, just my own personal preference. Um, again, it's Roughneck Beard Company, the Genesis. Um, check it out, um, Brad stand-up guy awesome awesome stuff that he does you know it's 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 a small operation um he hooks you up you know i got some freebies with it can't can't argue about freebies i'm um, gonna be looking and trying some of the oils really intrigued with the pine tar bomb that he offers that's something right up my alley um so yeah big daddy beardo here um, if, I, if you'd like to see me review something, let me know. You know, if I have it, I'll do it. If you're, if you.